Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel, it's me Lentheos here, as you already know by the name Lin the Mist, I don't get how that helps. Uh, anyway, we're in the Mist Village as always, I mean look at that beautiful place over there. Uh, I never show my hot bars at the beginning of these videos, so that way you don't know what we're doing yet. So, now I'll show you. We're doing Sinko. It's a uh, 1 out of 45 chance, but it feels a lot rarer than that. Anyway, Sinko is Minato's uh, Genkai AK, the Namikaze. So, I'm going to get a mission, and I'm going to showcase it. You know how it goes around here? Goodbye. I'll be back. Why did I say goodbye? Okay, and we're back. I uh, I got the Obito Sharingan today, and I just it's so much better, especially for videos. I had to cut out like five minutes of me just getting to the mission. So, anyway, we're showcasing a Cinco. So, the first move is called Flash Charge, or Flash Step, my bad. It's time style flash step. Car is 12,000 chakra, and its cooldown is 2,500, which is, I mean, whoa, pff, that would be a long time. Its cooldown is 25 seconds, okay, jeez. Now that would be a while. So there's only two of them, but this is actually fine. So let's lead this one away. Uh, there's only two splash damage. This, this first move is not splash damage, so I didn't really need to lead them away, I just felt like it. So if I press V, I go towards them, and I hit them. Uh, this one makes it where even when you go towards them, you stay at, like where they're at. You don't come back to where you are. Um, this is not going well for me. Okay, so the second ability is called Time Style Time Jump. Cries 14,000 chakra, and its cooldown is 12 seconds, which is a really good, to uh, really good tool, really good cool down, just like that was. So now, if I press B. I will hit them, and then I will go back to where I was standing originally, and that was pretty big. So, let me just uh, finish these person off. Okay, now this is actually one of my most fun, uh, you know what, I'll get to my opinions later. This is just one of the better things, it's up there with Shadow in terms of gameplay. So. Then the next ability, the very last ability, the third ability, is Time Style Time Stop. It requires 18,000 chakra, and its cooldown is 23. It's less than the Chi, or not the, the Flash Step. I, I don't exactly know why, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let me just go into the Synco mode, which kind of sucks because it's in the Z spot. Uh, this is the first mode, there's no other mode. The stat bonuses are plus 2,500 Chi, plus 2,200 Ninjutsu. Plus 1,400 Taijutsu, and plus 1,800 HP. Not the best stat boost in the game, but when you realize you can go super fast, and if you press X to dash, it uh, does this teleporty thingy. So, you know what? It's, it's pretty cool. Um, so now, for the third ability, the inability, the last ability you should unlock. I think it's unlocked at 600, 650, 450, I don't know. Uh, time stop. If I press in... A giant time bubble will appear, and they cannot move as long as they're inside it, and it does do damage. Now, the next thing is the Z spec from the actual mode. If I press Z, it's like a lot of. I don't know what. It, ow! It's like a lot of thunderclap type stuff, is what I'm gonna call it. So, uh, I'll just let you see for yourself. Yeah, it's pretty strong, too, by the way. The only bad part is that it takes up space in the Z slot, which you can't use Jinchuriki, or which you can't be a Jinchuriki. Can't use Tell Bees, can't use Curse Spirits, things like that. Uh, but it is actually pretty good. The move for it is cool, the Z spec. But normal Cinco alone could easily take care of a lot of people without the Z spec. So I feel like it's not worth uh, having the, the equip mode on. When you could much rather just, you know, let me flex real quick, uh, have the have the nine toes in the, uh, in the position of it. But at the same time, it is very fun to play with. Uh, just like Shadow. By the way, I'm giving my opinion, so let me get a little center camera angle here. Um, that's what something this game does pretty well, actually. So my opinions on it is that it is very fun. It is up there. In terms of gameplay and having fun with the game, if you, uh, it's with Shadow, which is really fun, if you don't know, if you've never had Shadow. Now, if you roll Senko, absolutely keep it. It's only 1 out of 45, but it is super strong, and it feels like a god bloodline. Uh, it kind of is, kind of isn't. But it is really good. So if you roll it, keep it. Do not get rid of it. 
ever, even if you are not planning to spend any Robux on this game. It is really good. Uh, after that, the bad things about it. I'd say the first ability, the V ability, is kind of useless. When you teleport to them and you stay there, it's making yourself weak and getting a free hit on yourself. It's just cool to look at. The, uh, the mode I already said, how it takes up the Z spot, the Z spot, which if you don't ever want to go hunting tail beasts and you roll this without ever getting a, a mark or whatever, where you don't have to wait for time or chances, then you know what, that's actually great for you. Because then you can have two modes at the same time with your Z and C, which you can, you can do for anything, but that'd be quite cool. Uh, the B and the N ability, there's nothing bad about them. They're insanely good. The B ability is the strongest thing in the game. I personally think uh, that's that's about it so I guess now I'm just saying if you like the video leave a like uh, make sure to watch till the very end even though you're already here that way my video gets an actual full view uh, that'd be nice if you want to see me do anything else which I can do a lot of things I'm planning to get into wisteria on Roblox uh, if you want to know what that is it's a demon slayer game uh, so yeah if you want to see me do anything else leave it in the comments and other than that, subscribe, I'm out of here. I'm just going to stop the video with my time stop here.